Chapter 35. Long live the king. No, this can't be, Silas gasped. There was no mistaking that horrible giggling. The mist cleared, revealing the three hyenas. They stood in front of Scar, blocking the only e escape. Hey, boss, we're hungry, Shenzi whined. Yeah, we've got a bone to pick with you, Bonzi agreed, licking his lips hungrily. It's dinner time, but we ain't got no second dinner, Shenzi added. You promised. Ed just stood there and giggled. Somehow, that was even more terrifying. Scar let out a bored sigh and set the staff down at his feet. His green eyes flicked to Silas. Oh, well, in that case, the prince is all yours. The hyenas giggled excitedly and bowed down in front of Scar. Long live the king! Then the hungry hyenas turned to the cave's entrance. They stalked towards Silas with their hackles raised and mouths watering fiercely. He backed away from them in terror. No, we had a deal. Scar, you promised you wouldn't hurt me or my family. Scar turned back and leered. His green eyes glowed. Oh, I said I wouldn't touch a hair on your little head. But that doesn't mean they won't. With that terrible proclamation, Scar stalked off toward the Pride Lands with Rafiki's staff. He was the king undisputed. But Silas remained trapped in the cave as the dark shadows of the hyenas encroached on him. Worse yet, without the staff to protect him, he felt weak and exhausted. He hadn't slept in two days. His legs buckled into, in defeat as he collapsed to the ground. All the energy leaked out of him. The hyenas licked their lips with their long tongues, looking ravenous. Their sharp teeth glinted in the dim light. Without the staff, the cave fell into darkness, blanketed by the mist. Come here, little prince, Shinsi taunted, stalking toward him with sharp eyes. Oh, I've always wanted to feast on royalty, Bonsai added. I bet it tastes richer. They all giggled horribly. Silas stammered and cried out, No, please, don't hurt me. But even his voice came out weak. This time, nobody was there to save him. The hyenas giggled like creepy children and intoned, Long live King Scar! And that's the end of the Circle of Terror. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Wow. I have to say that I think for the first time that this is a character that may have actually died in the end. But I hope we've learned our lesson, and it's actually quite interesting because I was reading about fables to my class t earlier today, and they learned a lesson about do not expect rewards from the wicked. I think this kind of qualifies as don't trust anyone, or at least don't trust evil. And in this case, Scar's pretty evil, so let's hope Silas... Or the next person who tries to release Scar learns their lesson. I hope you enjoy me next time on another Disney read aloud or another fairy tale read aloud or any just any read read aloud really. See you real soon. Stay safe.